Hi everyone, and welcome to Power Plays. I'm Harry, and today we're going to be continuing our two point hospital adventure with Blighton. This is the third and final hospital of this tropical area. This is a town, well, this town is riddled with contagious diseases, but otherwise lovely. So, for this, well, welcome to Blighton. It's hot and it's sticky and it's plagued by all sorts of contagious diseases. Keep an eye on the hygiene levels and get the vaccines ready. So let's just pause this and I'll just have a little look around. So to get star one, we're gonna need a hostile level of 10, which is pretty high to be honest. Hygiene rate is 70%, that won't be an issue for us. To vaccinate 30 infected people and a thermal comfort of 90%. So the hygiene and thermal comfort should be fairly straightforward. We can do little hand sanitizers somewhere. Maybe I need to unlock them. Maybe I've not unlocked them. There we go. We can get little hand sanitizers. Let's get that unlocked. We can um, make sure we got bins so rubbish gets put in. We can make sure we got lots of cleaners knocking around. That'll be perfect. Thermal comfort, obviously you know it's the air cons. So the vaccinated 30 infected people, it's those epidemics essentially. That's all we need to do. And what I actually suggest in this is to just let it run on a bit, um, just so everyone gets infected. Um, that way you will easily um, be able to cure more people. So if you cure it too quickly, what's gonna end up happening is that you'll only say get four or five per infection. But if you let it spread just a bit, then what's gonna happen is that you can say get 10, 15, um, vaccines per epidemic and because the epidemics don't come around that often it, it's a good idea if I don't say so myself um, but yeah no, it's a good idea just to then have um, essentially less um, less time to wait I think what's going to be the hardest bit for us is the hospital level so what's going to happen if I can ever get these medicine cabinets in, is eventually we're gonna grow, 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 and we just need to make sure that we're not going too quickly just to try and get the, the goal, because otherwise it will become unsustainable. And for three stars, we actually need to have our um, hospital level 18. Yes, 18. That is going to be Fun. That's going to be really tough. Just as tough as I'm finding putting these medicine cabinets down, it seems. So at each episode, it's either a good medicine cabinet episode or a bad medicine cabinet episode. And I tend to have more bad ones than good ones. Uh, but yeah, we need to get it to 18. On top of that, we'll need to get our hygiene level up to 90%. We'll need to vaccinate 60 people and we'll need to get a cure rate of 90% as well. So this is gonna be a tough one. I'll tell you that now, but we'll get through it. Just like we always do. It might take us a few, um, a few frustrating moments, but we'll get there. Mm, there we go. Not nearly as frustrating as putting these cabinets down. I'll tell you that for free. Come on, come on, there we go. I do one more. Can't remember if I do, yeah, I do one more. I do so many of these rooms sometimes, I forget exactly, I hate this game, <laughs> exactly how many can fit in. Let's just make sure we're scooching this as close as possible. Let's see if that then works. Come on. There we go. Now I don't have to cry. All right, what else do we need to put in here? I'm gonna come back to that. Let's get the rug down. Now let's do it, because this time it's gonna work. We're just gonna plunk it down. Perfect, just like that, and forget about it. Now, let's get the gold stars down. As always, 
next to the places where the patients are going to go. All good. All right, GP's office. And we got a GP to hire? Yes, we do. Tyler's nurse. I will take both of them, actually. A motivation as well for a, a um, injection administration isn't too bad either, to be honest. Um, janitors. Yeah, I'll take that janitor. I'll also take that one. Look at us at level two already. And I'll just grab this assistant for now. So you can see that not that much space. If we move over here, quite thin. Again, there's not going to be too much space, but we're going to have to get, and the helipads all the way over there. So we're going to have to get a lot of these places just to, um, just to get to level 18 in the end. Yes, 18. Crazy. Um, so let's get a pharmacy on the go. And did I? I can't remember if I bought a janitor that had the um, uh, the mechanics trait. When I say bought, I mean hired, because obviously we're not buying people. Let's get a few more of these down. There we go. And let's just have a lot more oh yeah I this is the bit I hate the most it's just the GP's office and the pharmacy psychiatry as well actually after that it's all fine you never have to put too many of them down I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to get rid of one of those medicine cabinets though just so I can fit in a air conditioning unit but we've not got too many more levels where it's going to be hot 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 so we shouldn't need to worry about them too much uh, we can put, fit one there can we fit one anywhere else let's stick the rest of these medicine cabinets down first see if we can sneak any, another one There we go, one more, and we are done. So let's see if we can just sneak in another little aircon unit. Fit perfectly just there. And let's get those gold stars down exactly where our staff and our patient's gonna be. We learned that enough times, then just spread it out, all good. So of interest. Yeah, you can see that that covers the room quite nicely. And then this one, See, apart from the very back, it's pretty good. And I think I'm actually gonna gonna move that and just stick it here. There we go, back to back. Oh, what am I doing? I'm gonna stick it over. Uh, no, I could fit a. Yeah, no, I'll stick it there because I could actually fit a ward over here. But before I do that, let's get a staff room on the go. And I'm going to put it here, but I'm actually going to flip it over to the other side. We got a staff room on the go. And a toilet. And then the reception, actually. That's the last thing we need to do, but I'm just going to buy the little assistance desk. Bins. Aircon unit right bang in the middle. Put the rug there. One there. One there. Three on each one here. And then energy drinks machine snack machine. There we go. 
sick of reception just there. You see how cramped this place is already. And let me just flip that to over here. And then the only thing left is a toilet. And I, am, I actually am going to keep the toilets still like this size, just because I don't actually intend to keep these toilets over here. I'm going to move them at some point. So I'm just going to build my normal standard build for a toilet. I wonder if we can fit one. Can we fit one over here at all? Hey, we can. There's a gold star over here. There we go. The only thing we're missing is the training room. And as you can see, we're already like quite full. So I'm actually going to... I don't often do that, but I'm going to buy a place straight away. Straight off the bat. Does mean, though, that, that I'm pretty much not going to have money to get the encyclopedias for this room. But we will get to that later. For now, we can just use the Brain Anatomy posters because they give a 1% boost. As always, three on that back wall. Make sure you keep these tight. And we should be able to fit, yeah, one there. We get two on this wall, two on this side of the door as well. And then again, make sure you keep it tight and you'll be able to squeeze just one extra one right at the very end, just there. Perfect. Should be able to fit or be able to afford just a few but not too many i'm just going to leave it there because i still want to be able to afford to train some people all right let's get our prices all the way up because we're going to need to be able to fund everything i've just done Get the policy down to 85, fast track decision making and promote staff automatically. And I did not get a janitor that can fix things. Not fix things. Um that can what's am I called it? Upgrade. There we go. I mean, that's all we're going to be able to do for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just have them doing everything for now. So, I mean, we're already at three, level 3 out of 10. There we go. And we got our first patient coming in. Something I haven't done, which I've only just remembered, is stuck some aircon down. So there we go. That should cover pretty much everywhere. We're good there. That GP is going to be done. There we go. And we have a mechanic there. There we go. I'm going to send them for treatment. Let's make sure that we're bumping everything up. Little diarrhea and misery guts. I'm going to let that finish before we treat those up. My second favorite yoga position is what I like to call the cantankerous limpet, which really helps to strengthen your limpet. cheeks. You'll have to come down to the station for a practical demonstration of that one. 
So I'm hiring that staff member, that nurse there, because I can get them trained in pharmacy and one of these lot trained in the ward instead of being on um, the pharmacy. So this should be nearly done and then we can actually start treating people. Well, I'm hoping that should have boost our chance. I mean, it's 64%, so I mean, not boost our chances too much. 90%. And 90%. So, fingers crossed. It's a good omen. I've got a good feeling. Or do I? Don't die. Ah, there we go. We got a cure. But we do have an epidemic. So, it's a jogger's ripple. Usually characterized um, by people moving just a tad too quickly, by then doing all forms of stretches and um, whatnot. Doing ba playing basketball I've seen so we've got four infected so far so that one's definitely got it so you can see they're playing basketball this one has as well but I'm not curing them just yet I'm gonna let it spread but equally I don't want them to leave the hospital so all these three four are probably the ones that have got it oh mainly because there's no one else left in the hospital um, so good deduction skills Harry I'm hoping maybe they could pass it on to a few other people if we get more people coming to the hospital. Like so we've got another nurse there and another doctor. That would be great. Let's get them trained in general practice as well. I'm going to pay for this one. I'm curing that one because they're about to leave the hospital. Mm. So we don't want the epidemic to leave because then we're definitely not going to cure anyone. Uh, and I will move that training room actually because now we've got the new um, the new building. I'm actually really surprised that that nurse hasn't caught it yet. Right, it doesn't look like we're going to have enough people, so I'm just going to get it cured, and then we can move on. Let's get that doctor. Let's get another nurse. We have so many nurses and so many janitors. But you see, look how skinny that place is. Um... First emergency, cubism. No, because we do not have cubism. Or any rooms to handle cubism, sorry. So I'm going to do a nice little 4x6. Should be able to fit another screen just here. So screens by the doors. And we should be able to fit a decent amount of beds in here as well. Actually spread them out then. There we go. And we could if we wanted to fit another bed just here. And we're getting some promotions in. So we should be able to get some training done as soon as I'm done with this building. Strap this room. Face masks because we're getting reports of a new epidemic. I wouldn't Ooh. worry too much though. Those fabulous men and women running the county's hospitals are sure to find a cure soon enough. And if and they don't, finally, there's still music like this to listen to. Just some gold stars. Exactly where all the patients are going to hang out. Just so we make sure we get those bonuses. And by the staff as well. There we go. Alright. Um, let's, oh we've got so many staff just chilling. Um, let's quickly get a training room on the go. Where's the helipad? Where's the helipad? Helipad's there. So let's just move this slightly to here. Um, moved it a bit too far, but no worries. So also let's tag this so we can have an extra nurse in there. There we go. And 
let's get some of these nurses trained. So, I mean, we've got a potential to smash out three, three ward nurses there. There we go, we've got a nice little space. Well, we can be able to grow to put another um, another GP's office, likely. Nurse to the ward, please. And let's just make sure we're getting these tagged correctly. And essentially, we train this one in pharmacy management, and we'll get that one trained in pharmacy management. We will all be good. We can get that machine for the next upgrade. We do need to start making some money because we don't have that much monies. Nurse to the ward, please. So ideally, I'd like some more patients to, to swing on by. So we're probably going to go into a loss just because we obviously we're upgrading this machine. So that's going to take some time, so we're not going to actually cure anyone. In fact, I might actually take them out for now, just so we can start to cure a few people, because we've got a hold up here as well. And we have the abdominal um, curse, which is the people walking around like the mummy, essentially. Uh, I'm not the way to train them, actually. So this one's fairly obvious so I actually feel really comfortable letting this one um, spread as much as possible they're really easy to spot so we know we've got four for now that one's about to leave the hospital so I am gonna cure them but I don't mind sorry no to animal magnetism for now Oh yeah, I did want to train someone. Yeah, I, I don't mind letting this one grow a bit. We just don't want them to leave the hospital. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Let's check, no one with it's leaving the hospital. What's this person doing? Pharmacy. All right. Oh, we've actually have let Janitor, one go. So this one we're going to have to let go. Uh, well, sorry, this one we're going to have to cure because we're going to send them home. And then the other one's this one. So let me just cure them. There we go. We'll get that over and done with. We do now have some base just to get some training done. And let's get a backup assistant in so we're all good there. I think we're pretty good ever elsewhere. I love the hospital. Happy days. Let's just sort out this Thermal comfort. In this building, anyway. There we go. Bingo. So you can see we're absolutely smashing the hygiene rating. We're um, Doing, well, we're fine on the thermal comfort, so no need to worry about that. And it's just the hospital level. We're halfway through, and we need to get some epidemics, but it, it'll be a lot quicker to do the epidemics once we kind of expand the hospital a bit. So, something which I've not gone through yet is that for this hospital, we're going to need the chromotherapy, the cryptology, the DNA lab, the head office, injection room, pest control. Pharmacy, psychiatry, recovery room, resolution lab, shock clinic, and surgery. So we don't actually need the ward to treat people, but we do need it to diagnose people. So there is that. So you don't have to build one if you do not want to. We 
we, we are getting some some uh, staff that we can or some janitors that we can work on there from scratch just not anyone else let's get that GP up because ideally I would like to get rid of the uh, the wards and then the three staff I've got with it so we don't need a fracture ward so we're not really gonna be needing many ward staff in terms of nurses um, I mean let's let's check we're gonna need a let's do treatment so we're gonna need a chromotherapist that's a nurse we're gonna need pest control also a nurse um, the cryptology, which is also a nurse, that's going to be it. We are going to do surgery, and that's going to need a doctor and a nurse. And then a doctor for the head office, um, the recovery room, the resolution lab, and the shock clinic. Oh, and the injection room, we'll need a nurse for that. So here we go, we've got Joggers Riffle again. That should be nearly done. Bingo. And I'm expecting ooh, most of these to have it. I'm hoping. Oh, I didn't mean to accept that. Oh, there we go. That um, it might spread a bit. See if any of these guys do. So it's stretching. So this one would have infected the whole, or has infected the whole queue here. That one doesn't have it. These guys do though. Check the janitor has it or not. No. Alright, these guys. So even that one doing press ups. Basketball. So you can see it is spreading a bit. So if we just get some cures done. Have I already cured this guy? Yeah. We just slow things down. We should be able to see who's moving quite quickly. So, for example, this guy. And I, I purposely haven't put any drinks machines out yet, um, just because. Wow, to be honest, I haven't been bothered. But usually, I'd put down energy drinks machines, and I really wouldn't recommend doing energy drinks machines for this one. Just because then it'll be really hard to see who's got Joggers Ripple because everyone's going to be moving quickly. So you can see just by letting that spread a bit, we're actually nearly halfway. Let me just check any of these ones looking like they got it. This one could have it. Nope. You see, we're not really sending people to the, um... Why isn't this doctor fully rested by now? Not really sending people to the ward. Getting some good cures in. Oh, we got some good nurses there. So we can start getting some treatment. Ah. All right, so we're going to need the injection room. We're going to need... Actually, let me just pause it and have a look at what stuff I've got now. All right. Don't need anyone else for the ward. In fact, let's just tick that off because we're not going to build a fracture ward. All good. We've got two for the pharmacy. That's going to be fine. And we're going to need now some treatment nurses and an injection room nurse, or at least two injection room nurses. So because we've had already had quite a few calls for like the cryptology, etc., I'm gonna go ahead and do treatment first. So let's get these ones done and we can actually, yeah, we can get the current nurse that we have to already start it. Sorry fella, oh man, I'll cure you first, but then I will send you home. And what you do need to be careful uh, be careful at is that sometimes if no one gets infected for a while and nothing's happened, there's a chance. Oh, not this time, but the assistant has um, has it. 
Let's see how many wards we get. I don't think anyone's died. Pretty sure no one's died. They have, I've completely missed it. Ah, oh, there we go. We got a good six there. I'm interested to know who's the, the last one, though. Who hasn't got it? Um, yeah, this is two point radio. So you can see everywhere's everywhere's nice and hygienic. Don't need a shot clinic. Do need to get some maintenance trained. I wonder who the last one is with Jogger Dripple. <laughs> it's really amusing me here. They're clearly not a patient because they would have left the hospital by now. I'm going to do so I'm going to get this one trained in maintenance. As well as that other one. So it has to be a staff member. But which one? I have no idea. None of them are moving, like. Maybe this one? No. None of them are moving, like, madmen. No idea. Do they have the energy buzz? No, energized. Yeah, no idea. Ah, there you go, they've left the hospital. Maybe it was a patient then. Oh, that had to be a patient. Alright, what we can start doing now though is... Let's do that pest control. Because that's come up a few times. Let's get it quite near the door. Let's get a fire extinguisher ready. Aircon unit. Bang out some gold stars. And just in time, we got our maintenance people trained. Janitor, to repair drug mixer. Yeah, you repair that drug mixer, janitor. There we go. And we can actually get this upgraded as well. While we're here, let's not forget to flip these janitors to be maintenance only. On let's see who else we got to train. Another GP. I wouldn't worry too much though. Those fabulous there we go. The county's hospitals are sure to find out cures. So what did I say we need? We need a another treatment nurse. Always need more treatment nurses. So we're gonna want them for chromotherapy. We're gonna want them for cryptology surgery and pest control so ideally we shouldn't really oh and the injection room but they need to be trained first for us for me to convert them essentially i'll have them as a specialized injection room nurse so so really we only need one more treatment nurse maybe two more treatment nurses if we want to be really covered yeah, I was never going to launch that marketing campaign, sorry. Get that upgraded. Come on, let's, let's get some of these people treated. We've, we're at level 6. We've cured, what, 14 out of 30? Or vaccinated 14 out of 30, so we're doing pretty well there. Bit of cash in. 
And we got another one, the Abdominal Curse. That's the one I like. Let's get this one trained in treatment. Oh, we haven't got the money there, that's fine. Alright, how many people for the Abdominal Curse? Four. Assuming it's some of these people in the queue, so let's just keep an eye for when they move. And there we go, we've got one that's going to leave the hospital, so let's get them cured. Got that one who's going to leave once they're cured. So two more. Hoping it might spread a bit. We'll get at least a third in that queue. I'm assuming the other one's in the queue. Nope. One's here. Hopefully they'll infect them though. Yeah. There we go. Get that sneeze in. There we go. Infect everyone. There we go. We've got five people infected now. So it just, just helps us. Just helps us essentially complete this quicker. Let's get a maintenance person here pronto. And a GP apparently as well. Oh, we had one escape, did we? Let's just sort the rest of these out. We got one more. There we go, there they are. Let's get them done. There we go. So you can see just by leaving it, it's it's really helped us get quite a few ticked off. So let's let's I wanna uh, I want to don't want them to teach a qualification, I would like them to learn a qualification. I want to get this mechanics up a bit just so we can hopefully do that a bit quicker. And we've got the cryptology, uh, sorry, we've got the pest control. Let's do the cryptology as well. You can squeeze it in. It's only a four by three. Nice in this corner. Let me just move that to out there. Yeah, they put a radiator in there. Definitely don't want a radiator in. Do want a fire extinguisher though. And then some lovely gold stars. The gold stars are definitely overpowered in this game. It's just a real easy way of getting everything up. And I've definitely spent too much money. Come on, you're quicker than that. Well, things are... Ooh, uh, oh, we still made money, just our expenses come through. Things are running nicely, though, I think. Let's keep making some monies. We don't need to worry about reputation in this hospital. We do need to worry about a cure rate, though, for the next star. So not growing too quickly here and just doing everything we can to get these staff trained up it's going to help us out a lot getting nice bits of money in mm, 90 days without death doesn't happen often surgeon i will take a surgeon I see I got a psychiatrist, but no psychiatry at the moment. So I'm probably fit a, I'll end up moving the pharmacy. I'll probably fit a psychiatry right here. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to train them sometime. I'm only gonna train one though, cause it's not 
it's not really that key, the ward. Send them home, send them home. Everyone's happy. Oh, come on, you should be getting that done in no time. So in, in terms of doctors, we do need some treatment doctors. Don't want a slow GP. Polluted skill trees. Yeah, we do need a treatment doctor just so we can get a, another treatment room in. Maybe the shock clinic's probably going to be our first one. Come on, you can get that done quicker. And at some point, we're going to have to hire a, another GP because the next level, we're probably going to need another GP's office. So let's just be on the lookout. That delightful Jasmine Odyssey isn't just a pop There we go, making a nice bit of money now. Also quite the humanitarian. Make sure we're keeping all these machines nice and upgraded. No, I don't. Oh, that's what we trained. So I'm actually going to get the other nurse to train that one. Even though that's going to put us in a short, but we should be fine. Nice doctor. Yes. So I'm going to get... Ooh, abdominal curse. Alrighty then. I'm going to get this one trained in the GP. And then I'll make another GP. And it's because if I build a shot clinic, it's going to put us over the next level. And then things are just going to be a bit tougher for our hospital to be able to deal with it. Because yes, we do want to grow, but we need to grow organically and just take our time doing it because it's going to make the next levels so much easier. I mean, if you look at um, Grockle Bay, how long it took me to just have everything ready for the um, third star. I mean, we absolutely smashed through that. So let's sort that one out. Ooh, I'm expecting a lot of people to get infected by all those sneezes there. And what, how many do we need to do? We need to cure six more and we've got five people infected at the moment. So, if we just get a few of these, we should be able to do it. Earthquake. It's a bit hard to see during an earthquake who um who's got the abdominal curse and who hasn't. So let's get this one. GP training. And then we'll be all set to get another GP's office and then hopefully get a treatment doctor soon enough. We should be good. Let's keep on the lookout for any abdominal curses. There we go. I knew it was going to be one of our staff members. Got one more knocking around. Potentially could be the GP. Nope. Ah, they've left. Alright. All done. So we're two away. Really close. Yeah, we do need to build a surgery. Come on, get in here. Get that upgrade done. And let's get this. Uh, we'd probably drop some more bookcases just to make these go a bit quicker. Speed things up a bit. No, not getting a level four car. I think now would be a good time 
get these two trained in maintenance and then let's there's no one in here at the moment so let's pick it up let's put it here just so there's a nice still a bit of space here in this corridor still got space in this corridor here we can copy these toilets and see if we put that here we've then got space Space for the toilet and still space for the corridor. Pretty sure I've now ruined the thermal comfort in this area, but there we go. Yeah, that'll be fine. And what we can do is just copy this, stick it there, and there we go. Three GP to the two rooms, carrying a spare surgeon. We got way enough nurses at the moment well we've got enough nurses at the moment for over here need a chromotherapy that'll be our next thing we'll do maybe a shock clinic actually but i mean first we'll need to expand so we'll get this plot here So things are going pretty, ah, oh, pretty good. Uh, let's, can we get this? I mean, we're not going to have it completed by the time, oh, come on. So we're not going to get it completed in time, but we'll at least get it maintained. Dremba. The maintenance um, goes up on a machine while you're upgrading it. So let's just get rid of this guy just so we can get the people in the cryptology. And we have the abdominal curse again. Come on, guys, people come in. There we go. All right, I'm just going to cure the ones that we can see pretty quickly just because we have now passed the um the requirement i couldn't think of the word there the requirement we needed for um one star again it's pretty good i mean the only thing we're not getting now is patient's choice because we're not um doing anything else really we're not doing any research so Send this one home. <laughs> now, see, the problem is, is that, so one of them sneezed because they've got the abdominal curse. But how do we know whether they've just got the abdominal curse or they are got premature mummification? All I know is that everyone's sneezing and it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. No, stop. You stop, you go away. Let's get some of these done. Last one, I think, in this queue. Yeah, and we got one more. Knocking around somewhere. Send them all home. I, I really regret setting this to be repaired now. So I'm just going to cancel it. You get your money back. I ideally didn't want to cancel it. But... A new epidemic. Because ideally, I would like to get... Oh, it's not going to get done. Two more. I well, know it could get done, actually. Two more of them cured. Just so we can pass the... Um, emergency. Yeah, it's nice to get the cash in as well. Hey, we've got a head office there. Oh, all right. Let's let's just have a, a little a little stock of things because we've got a decent amount of money. Um, we got some buildings we need to get done. Some staff to hire. There we go. Ah. Uh, is this treatment one? Learn treatment. 
perfect, great timing. In terms of nurses, I do need some more treatment nurses. I'm going to go for two more treatment nurses. I mean, I almost think that that's just too good a timing to be true. And I'll train them after. So. Yeah, two more treatment nurses. In fact, one of them I will... Yeah, I'll turn this one into the injection room nurse. Oh, we didn't cure one of them. Oh, that's a shame. And it is... Oh, yeah, because they, they've still got the abdominal curse. We've just taken all the mummification off them. I'm going to get that patient to wait. Because I'm going to build a psychiatry just now. In this corner here. And then we're going to call it a day, I think. Call it for this episode. Um, we've just got into level 8. So that's great. Didn't mean that to rhyme. We've met all the other requirements. So happy days there. And essentially, if we wanted to, we could force the first star. We could just essentially just build a load of random things and just get our level up. But I don't want to do that because we have a long way to go just yet. We need to, yeah, we need to get all the way up to level 18 and probably what well, I, I will end up building loads of random things just to hit that because that that's going to be pretty tricky to get um so what we'll probably do is we will get to we'll hopefully have a t bags of bags of cash by them and what we can do is we can wait till our curate uh, so we'll already be what level 14 because we need it for the second star We'll have bags of bags of cash, so hopefully we'll then um, have already grown organically a bit, and so we can just finish the rest of it off. Let's just, uh, by spamming rooms essentially, let's just put these gold stars in, especially around the area that everyone's going to go the most. Just bang a few there, happy days. So we've now got a place for our what someone called it or um you know you know what i'm trying to say psychiatrist and that is the last treatment nurse i'm gonna hire because what we have four treatment nurses one two four rooms actually you know what i'm going to turn this into an injection one so there we go that should then be enough Got one more person infected somewhere. Don't think we're gonna. Don't think we're gonna pass this though. No, didn't pass it. Three out of seven. We're close though. Ah, oh, we wouldn't have been. There you go. Oh well. So, uh, yeah. What do we need? We need some treatments. Hang on. Let's hold the phone. We need treatment doctors yes we need shock clinic we need recovery room recovery room and resolution lab and the head office we also need one that can work in the dna lab and we need a surgery so we've got a doctor here that could go for treatment so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to drop them in so now we're going to have lots of doctors we can stop building some of these rooms and i'm gonna buy this buy this building there just to get that off and running and that should once once this is done there we go i knew that would be quick all i'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop, oh no, 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 I don't want them to learn treatment. Sorry. Cancel treatment. There we go, you go away. I'm gonna drop 
UN to learn injection administration, get that nurse to learn injection administration as well. And then we can build our injection room when we get this area here. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know down in the comment section and subscribe to the channel so you can see exactly how we get that first star and more. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.